in my previous video i already talk about how can manage gitx framework in our flutter app application but in this video i talk about how can set up gitx cli for application development process and how can manage our application mvc structure using gitx cli okay so if you want to know about these things so let's start so this is actually gitx framework library and git library actually is a solution where we can manage application state very easily gitx has three basic principles where is productivity performance and organization these three pillars are improve our application development process this is the main purpose of uses of git x framework so if you want to start your applications development with git x framework so that time you can use git x cli so git x cli is a command line interface for the flutter app development so if you want to activate the cli code so that time you can install pub global activate get cli so this is actually main command but when you use it for flutter applications so that time you can use flutter space pub global space activate cli if you have already installed dart language in your operating system so that time pub command also available for package management system for the cli process so first thing you need to be installed this package through the common line so once you hit the process after installing the package you can get this command after install the get cli command and you can also use it as a getx okay get and getx is similar process to create your application development so if you want to create a new applications using getx cli so that time you can create your applications directly get create project so this is actually first command when you want to create a applications using get cli if you want to create getx project so that time you can use the command get create project it is a command and after then you can use the project name after the project once you are using this cli command after then you can get two type of project creation options one is the flutter project and another is the get server flutter project is the front end project it is used for mobile application development but get server is a server application development process where you can build application for the server side so right now we need to be create flutter project for the front end application development purpose we can choose flutter project and then you can use your company domain so here i can use com.sivajidevnath it is the domain and after then which kind of language you will be use for ios application development so this is actually latest language provided by apple which is swift lang and we can use swift lang and also for the android you can use kotlin language and also we need null safety operator also because this is latest update in our dart programming language so this is also required for the null safe and after then we can use linter but we don't required right now so for that purpose we can use no and after then we can get the application project structure after using this process and right now here we can get two kind of structure like getx pattern or another structure is clean getx pattern based on pages and clean structure based on screen and domain specific so right now we can use getx pattern which is the default pattern for the getx and here you can use yes and 
now our project is initiated so right now i just open this project in my visual studio code and after then this project once it open so then we can run this application in our android emulator so this is actually main project and once it application already installed then we can get the all details about the module so this is actually basic module where we can visualize the application structure application basic structure where we can get material app and this is actually basic initializations of our application here I have very simple things a simple structure created by get cli this get project have three main part one is routing another is the module and third one is the data first main dot dart second thing is the module part where we can create various different kind of module which is actually represent as a page and third part is the data where we can manage the state so this is actually three basic part of our application so right now we can start our application from the main dot dart so it is the very basic application interface when we are starting the application structure so here I have extra layer of material app which app defined by get material app get material app is the top of material app and here we can pass title initial router and get pages option so where we can use routing options so this is the routes folder and we can manage all the pages section using app dot pages class this page class have initial part where we can calling routes dot home routes dot home means this is actually routes and this routes class managed by app underscore routes file and this is actually routes path and where we can get the different kind of path and this path set up here this is actually naming path and it is actually routes path so this routes path are integrated here in the app pages and here also we are initiate all the routes as a get page object and this get page object we can initialize the path name we can use the page name which is the actually view and after then we can applying data binding with the home view page so this is actually three things are actually integrated in this part and these three things also included here also this is actually home module and this home module have home underscore view and it is called home view extension which is extended by home controller package and this home controller manage the data so this is the actually home controller and here we can manage the data here okay so this is actually home controller and after then when we are using this home controller package then we can use the data binding process like this so this is actually dependency management system which is called bindings and these bindings can manage the dependencies how it work these dependencies if you are using any kind of data managing in your controller so that time this class will be calling if you are not using any data in your applications part so that time your controller not be initialized so this is actually optimization process of calling a home controller okay so how it work so when we are application started so that time you can got some cli message from here where you can get some messages like first when your application are initiated so that time you can got the data like this okay so this is actually basic starting so how can manage the application data using controller and view so here already implemented is some counter like this so this is actually basic counter 
and here have function called increment this is actually basic structure of home controller part this home controller actually extended by getx controller this getx controller have one property which called count property and count property when i use so this is actually rx int for using dot obs syntax when we are use obs syntax that means it is observer object and when we are creating an observer object so that time we can increment the value like this so how can integrate this value home view already here it is actually stateless widget and for the stateless widget i want to use another text widget here for displaying the counter value for that purpose we can wrapping this text widget using column widget when we are using column content so that time our after saving we can get the text here and if you want to centralize the text so that time you can use main access alignment attribute and you can use it main access alignment as a center so that time you can get view the data as a central alignment using this line and after then you can remove center widget using this so you can remove the center widget and after then we can use another text widget like this and here counter value here we can use the counter value so when we are accessing the controller data uh, object using view class template so that time we can access directly controller object using controller object because this controller object already initiated in this package so this is actually package and this class are extended by stateless widget and this stateless widget where we can initiate instance like this and this instance already initiated as a controller so this is actually controller where we can get the home controller object so this home controller object putting here and after then we can get the controller object like this and right now we can accessing all the data from the controller class accessing by controller object so this is actually controller object and we can watch that value using controller dot count after saving this application we can get refreshed in the application so here we cannot see any data update so if you want to watch the data update so that time we can use obx builder where we can watch the value from this part okay now here we can observe the value directly so this is my tutorial video if you like my video so hit the like button of my video and if you are not subscribe my youtube channel so hit the subscribe button and also press the notification bell icon for the future notifications when i publish any video in my youtube channel so you can quickly get notified after publishing my video so if you want to know about something about technology you can comment me video comment section and stay tuned with me and stay learning with me about the technologies so I will be meet with you with the next learning videos.